This is the Delphi matrix that we're going to be making in this tutorial. Um, the emphasis is mostly going to be on how to get these diagonal lines to, to work out so that the math is still automatic. So let's say that you have criteria here. Um, let's say we're buying chocolate and we cared about cost, we cared about level of social justice. Oops, spell that right. Social justice. Um, let's say we cared about the percent cacao. Uh, and um, the deliciousness. Oh, you know, maybe we throw in nutrition. Nah, let's leave that nutrition. Great. So let's say that those are the things we cared about. Um, and let's say that we had weighted those. Um, and let's insert a row here and say that that's from 0 to 10 high is the weight. And let's say that that was 9 because we're poor students, level of social justice because we kind of care, percent cacao because come on, and deliciousness, I mean why else buy chocolate. Uh, and then let's say that you had a bunch of alternative solutions um, and you rated those on a scale of 0 to 50 high. And let's say you were looking at endangered species, jaguar, which is a dark chocolate one, and endangered species the bat one and Chaco love the almond and salt one and Teo they're extra dark. Now I'm just going to be showing you how to do this in Excel. We're not actually going to talk about like how to properly weight criteria and how to properly weight solutions. That's a, a much longer, more in-depth topic. But uh, um, let's look at a way to make this kind of attractive. What I'm going to do is I'm going to insert rows here. Um, I'm going to use control Y to just redo my last one. So I got rows there. I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to insert columns and you'll see why in a second. It's because I want to do a line going across through those uh, so that I can do math on a number I enter here and it shows up here. So I'm going to merge and center these um, which is right there and then uh, I'll format paint that and do that to all of those. Um, let's merge and center these. Uh, and then here, I'm going to do format cells, border, this half bright, half bright line diagonal, okay? And I'll copy and paste that there and there. That way I can enter a number here like 45, and then I can say this equals that 45 times this 9. And I want to be able to move this formula without B changing, but I do want the number three to be able to change. So I'm going to put a dollar sign just before that B. And what that will allow me to do is to copy and paste that to there. And sure enough, that worked. Um, and then maybe to both of those spots. And then I could take all of that and copy and paste it to all of that. And um, probably going to want these things to be bold uh, here, bold format paint to there and format paint to there. Um, and then I want a total where this equals the sum of these things. Right? And uh, that is going to be there and there and there. And these get merged and centered and maybe made bold. Uh, and then let's format paint that to all of those. Um, actually, let's copy and paste just to make sure that, that that's all working. Um, and then uh, I probably should have done this already. Yeah, definitely done this first so I don't have to redo it again. But I want that border all around that. So let's do those so I have squares. Um, and I kind of want it to look more like a diagonal. So I'm going to give that a little bit more space. So you have that nice, strong diagonal there. Uh, this should probably be bold. Uh, maybe these bold. Um, let's merge and center these and put it in the center there. Um, let's center that one, give this a little bit more space. Uh, these definitely could be merged and put in the center and have a box around them. And then I can just take that format and apply it to all of those. And again, take that format and apply it to all of these. Whoops, messed that up. Let's undo that, Control Z. I want this formatting to be applied to those. There we go. Um, Let's put a box around that, a box around these two, uh, and then all of those let's put boxes in. Um, I can also make these kind of 
automatically color when these no when these numbers change. So these numbers were ones we entered about how strongly it met those criteria. So now I could come through and enter different numbers and it would do the math. Oh, those, let's put in better numbers. Let's do 40, um, 30. Let's actually make, let's make it accurate. There's, let's call that a 20, a 40, whoops, a 45, 40, 35. Of course, you would spend time deliberating these 30, 40, 30, 35, 40, 30, whoops, 40, 30, 35, um, where am I? Uh, oh, I just did all the same ones. Well, let's make them a little different. 35, 35, 30, 50, and then this one could be 25, 20, 45, 45. And now we could automatically color code these if we wanted to by taking those, going to uh, conditional formatting, color scales, like that, let's make, uh, so this would be our clear winner. Let's go ahead and put boxes around that. And then um, maybe write the word total here. Maybe merge and center those, but at the left and put a box around that. Uh, bold it, great. So now if I go to print preview, you can see, let's make this into um, landscape. You can see I have a Delphi matrix there of which you can change the numbers and see what happens to your solutions. All right, enjoy. Also, it's probably look better with uh, some of these number fonts larger, taking up more of the space. So let's take those, make them size 14, uh, 16 looks really nice. Um, let's go ahead and make sure that all of these can word wrap by going to format cells, uh, alignment, wrap text, so that that fits in. Um, let's bold this and let's actually make this one a, a 14 as well, no, 16, there we go. Um, and we'll bold those two. I think that that looks pretty good.